story tala London Network Daily Post. Menta perlok nawar HP ke kubur. Penihar keput ke Hamas dah kebersihat Shibun Bakir Roket Haizal. Hadin ke Jingtai ke hostel. Tunggu ni sengap. Kakan hun lenok Palestine Hamas. Kasiat bitar Shibun Bakir Roket Haizal. Kani ke Jingbom Bashar Kei Jongka Hamas. Kawan Hadin bayap sepangut ke Brio. Haka Jingtai ke Gaza Hospital. Haka video berpelaj dah ke Hamas. Lai i Shibun Bakir Roket bersiat dah kakan hun lenok Palestine. Kam ke Hamas bakani ke Jingar Tema. Kadai ke jubab syak jingyap jengki nong Palestine balului. Ka Hamas ke Panher iki roket syak sun leng pakai Izzel syak pangsyati sa si senpan. Kadai ke jingtar roket ke jia. Kad bau presiden ke Amerika u Joe Biden. U pelong ya ke jingyelang hati lau vif Izzel. U Joe Biden u support ya ke sorkar Izzel. Badu ong baka jingpetai jeng ke hostel. Lalek da ke wipat ke tim. I was deeply sad and outraged by the explosion at the hospital in Gaza yesterday. And based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not not you. But there's a lot of people out there not sure. So we got a lot. We got to overcome a lot of things. And it also means encouraging life-saving uh, capacity to help the Palestinians who are innocent. Katba, u Prime Minister Junka Israel, u kno baka Hamas ka commit double war crimes man kasngi. Hamas wants to kill as many Israelis as possible and has no regard whatsoever to Palestinian lives. Every day, they perpetrate a double war crime, targeting our civilians while hiding behind their civilians, embedding themselves in the civilian population and using them as human shields. We've seen the cost of this, this terrible double war crime against humanity. That Hamas is perpetrating in the last 11 days, as Israel legitimately targets terrorists, civilians are unfortunately harmed. Hamas is responsible and should be held accountable for all civilian casualties. We saw the cost of this terrible war crime yesterday, when a rocket fired by a Palestinian terrorist misfired and landed on a Palestinian hospital. The entire world was rightfully outraged. But this outrage should be directed not in Israel, but at the terrorists. As we proceed in this war, Israel will do everything it can to keep civilians out of harm's way.